Libra. Welcome to your singles reading for May 2021. This is your bonus reading, Libra, for being uh, one of the top contributors to the channel last month. Libra, you guys, Libra gang gang, you guys absolutely crushed it. So you, you placed in the top four placements, as a matter of fact. Libra, I saw probably some of the most growth on my channel just from, I think it was your intimate tarot reading. Mm-hmm. A lot of criticism on that video, a lot of energy around that video, but it was one of your most high, your highest performing video yet on the channel, and I want to thank you. Thank you, Libra, for <laughs> my Libras out there bringing it out, bringing the heat, standing in some truths, fighting against some truths, too. There's a lot of energy around you, Libra, as you will have seen in your general love reading, if you've seen that already, also out today. So, Libra... Thank you again, Libra Gang Gang. Please continue to spread your good loving energy on the channel. Please continue to support your girl. I love you, fellow Libra here. Uh, we're looking at your singlehood. So those of you who are single, interested, or curious, just curious, just looking at what the singles are doing out here, you know. We're testing, I'm testing out this uh, on my channel, Libra. If we like it, we'll keep it, you know, that kind of thing. We'll see. I will tell you, you're already here, out the gate. Okay, the Empress, underlying the spread right now. Working on yourself, all right? Kind of a feel like a content eight of coin here. A lot of you are heavily focused on work at this time. Okay, this is kind of an aside. You're putting in that work on yourselves. Yes, we know that. You're busy expanding gloriously, I might add, okay? It's not that you're ignoring potential of connection out there. You're just, you know... It's like if it comes up, it comes up. That's kind of the energy I feel <laughs> for you right now. Um, some of you, you know, are empress. You guys are already mothers. You're already parents, that kind of thing. Man or woman, irrelevant. But right now, you're focused on yourself. You, yourself, and you, okay? Regardless of where you currently stand in a connection, okay? Libras are heavily focused on working. Working working on building their empires, building their abundance. Guys, general messages here, of course, take what resonates, leave what does not. I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux to tell your story today, clarifying for you today with the Light Seers to row. Okay. Pre-pulled your Oracle energy. We'll see what's up. I'm excited to see what's up. New visitors, new potential subscribers, welcome to the channel. Welcome to Libra Gang. Hello. <laughs> if you're cross-watching, interested in the Libra, welcome too. Also, um, we'll get into it. I'll, I'll, we'll come back in a side. Let's just get into the reading. Libra, if something resonates, be sure to leave a like on the video. Let me know, guys, if you like the singles read, we'll keep it. If not, figure something else out in your current <laughs> you guys will always tell me the truth anyway and i respect that tell me i want to know if you like it we'll keep it you know what i mean in your current energy libra we have judgment all righty so you know what i'm feeling libra two things literally literally two things okay some of you, you see how it dropped, that energy just dropped? It's like, you don't want to be, have to, like, I don't want to have to make a judgment call in my life right now. I've been forced to have to do this for a while. That's what many of you are saying, okay? But this is the divine stepping in, calling on you. Libra, love's probably about to knock on your door again. What kind of love? I don't know, but judgment's here, so I feel like it could go either way. And based off of your general love reading, Libra, We've kind of got the old and the new trying to come in all at the same time. That's how it feels to me. Alrighty. You let me know if you're dealing with Scorpio. They say Scorpio with judgment. I don't know. I guess it's questionable. Scorpio kind of rules enough cards in my opinion. But whatever. Why not? Why not give them another one? They can certainly, ha certainly handle that energy right there. So Scorp, you know, by all means. Judgment. But we're forced out. We're pointed away. Pointed away. This is just your current energy, Libra. Making a judgment call. Do I enter the realm of new love again? I don't know. I don't know. What is your strength to do so here? This is also a mutual energy. The Ten of Cups. 
mutual energy and understanding here, the Ten of Cups between the two of you is also your strength. That was also in your love reading, your, your general. The mutual here is I think you perceive the Ten of Cups happiness with, with you, the both of you, if there is a mutual, that kind of thing. So you're aware of someone here. You could also just straight up be happy, Libra, in a connection already on your own. But this is a singles reading, so I'm focusing it that way. If this is a mutual, then whoever it is that you've got your eye on here, or whoever's got their eye on you, it's really weird, you know what I mean? <laughs> they foresee a Ten of Cups happiness. You foresee the Ten of Cups with said person here, okay? Interestingly enough, happy hearth home but again it's interesting it's the ten of cups because the ten of cups is though it be the highest level of personal happiness it is not the true the truest measure of personal happiness because we never quite reach the ten or once we reach the ten it's back to one right the ace new so this is new but it's yet to be alrighty what's your perceived understanding of your person how do you perceive this person libra more scorpionic energy again the tower boom mind blown is this is how you perceive them libra your mind blown when you saw them very interesting <laughs> mind blown reverse energies as it applies a feeling of heavy mutual mutual connection here with you and someone that the the attraction level was instant, was, is instant. It's, the tower, in this literal sense, is a release, if you know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> a release of energy. The divine came in and shook your world, right? Made that tower crumble. You possibly got heavily enlightened by this person as well, or they you, in some way. Um... You're turned on, okay? Let's just say that you are turned on by this person, Libra. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're ready to... <laughs> you're ready to... <laughs> you're ready to let that tower crumble and start all over again. It's shock. Shock factor here. Shock factor 101. Let's see. Their perception of you is you. Holy hell. Holy hell. You are all already all over your reading, Libra double twice here justice honey they see you for you which is beautiful it's kind of cool let me know if you're dealing with a fellow libra i feel the need to say that you have a you have a there's a soul connection here this person is i feel like they're meant to be karmically on your path karma not necessarily being a bad thing here you know there's good karma too guys um, they see you for you. They see you living authentically, living in your truth. They see you as you, and that's refreshing. They see you balancing up things. You have a contract with this person that you're meant to fulfill. This is probably a soulmate for you. Whoever this is, let me know. You have a contract to fill with this person. Oh, yes, you do. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm justice and the tower heavy scorpionic energy here for you libra you and taurus here already underlying the spread this has abundance written all over it so you know however it works out for you potential outcome here beautiful more taurus energy king of pentacles interesting kind of got a face card here finally the king of pentacles this is be has a potential for a legacy. Legacy, a continuum, a continuation. You let me know if you're dealing with a Taurus or any Earth sign, respectively, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? There's a history waiting to be signed here, okay? All right, we see it. There is a history with this person, a legacy waiting to happen with this person in your potential outcome, all righty? I like it. How soon, I don't know. But we're about to find out. Delving now into the Light Seer's Tarot. Interesting. Ace of, uh, you know what? I forgot to shuffle this deck. You were meant to see it, I guess. Ace of Cups in reverse on the bottom of the deck. 
or just the Ace of Cups, either or. Either or. I mentioned exes trying to come in for you at this time, Libra. I felt that. I feel it. I think they're all over you. They're watching you. They're spying on you secretively, if you know what I'm saying. Seven of Swords. Okay. Guys, if anything's resonating so far, be sure to leave a like on the video. Definitely let me know how you guys like the singles reading. I did this one a little bit different from Sagittarius' reading, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Anywho, they're being quiet. Or sneaky. I don't know. There's a new love offer trying to cut. Like, this feels like two separate energies. Or someone's just being damn quiet about how much love they have for you, okay? Maybe you are. That could be you. You know, energy works both ways. You're being quiet too, Libra. Is because that tower is here, alright? <laughs> Mind blown, okay? Uh <laughs> huh? Or it's a good shock. It's a good kind of tower because you're right there to back it up, okay? It's beautiful, in my opinion. And everything in the upright for you, which is kind of cool. I don't normally get that for you, you know? Trust me, this deck is plenty shuffled and all mixed up, okay? <laughs> Why is judgment here? What's the judgment call? The divine timing? Divine help here? Divine timing is what I felt I need to say. Judgment. Divine timing and occurrence happens when we're not aware of it. Hence why judgment's facing away. Because you're not meant to be aware of the Ten of Cups. <laughs> you're not meant to be aware of your happiness. Or you're not aware of it yet, as it were. As it were. As it were. Okay? You're supposed to speak it into existence. You're supposed to enact it into existence. You're supposed to tell the universe exactly what you want so that it comes to you, Libra. Okay? Oh, yeah. Why is judgment here, though? Trying to work on your behalf, but faced away because they know the, the decision is ultimately up to you. And that is the choice that many Libras are making now. Do I focus on myself and building my own empire? Because someone's someone's knocking at my door. Could literally someone be knocking at your door right now, okay? And I felt the need to say that. If I have to pause the video, guys, some I am literally waiting on someone to knock on my door right now. <laughs> so if I have to pause the video, that's why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's funny. But someone's knocking at your door. All right. Here we go. My judgment here. I thought that was a kind of an aside for me. All right, because you're dreaming about this person. Nine of Swords with the pressure. The thought process, you doubt it, you don't know. It's like, uh. That, you know, this new love offer, you don't want it to disrupt you. I feel you. You don't want it to, you don't want anything right now to stop your flow of abundance. Judgment's here. <sighs> giving you pressure you're either dreaming about this person you're straight up thinking you're you're it it burdens you if this is an ex trying to come in because i'm feeling two judgment two okay two people here trying to be resurrected one brings you pain the other brings you love as it were what's backing the nine of swords please one makes you question yourself and doubt yourself the other is yet to be but has the potential to be oh my god you know nine of swords what's back in the nine of swords please interesting okay three of pentacles reversed three of pentacles reversed i think you tried to build with this person a long time ago I feel like two Scorpios here, or two people with heavy Scorpio in their chart, by the way. This feels like past person to me, Libra. Someone you tried to build with, and it went... You tried to have the Ten of Cups, okay? Maybe you still are trying. Maybe your foundation isn't set right now, because we are trying to blend what we love with what we do okay we're trying to blend this idea 
Yeah. You're still foundation building with this person, whoever they are. And that brings you pressure. So I don't know. I don't know. New is on the bottom of the deck here. Why is the Ten of Cups here, please? That's the truth. Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. There's a, there's a communication barrier here between how are we moving forward with your person. All right. Some level of history here. You know this person from somewhere. It feels like you're at a red light or a light. A light? You don't know whether you're stopping, whether you're going, whether you're slowing down. The choice, again, is up to you, and you know that. How fast do you want to go? How fast do we want to reach our Ten of Cups? What's the truth here? The pathway, the stairwell, this winding winding pathway of truth and clarity that you're trying to have right now. What is the truth, Libra? Mm, the hanged man on the bottom of the deck. You need more time. You need, you need, or they're, they're also trying to get a perspective about you. They don't have a clear, they don't know what you want. Your person. Interesting. This new person that you're dealing with. They have knowledge of you. They have I dare say even interest in you. They see you for you. They see a future with you, but they don't really know what you want. They're trying to get to understand you. There's a truth and a pathway here that has not been illuminated for them or you. How to move forward. How do we start this foundation? How do we get it off the ground? It puts me up in my head and I'm thinking about it constantly, but I don't, I don't know what to do about it. Let's back in the Ace of Swords, please. Hello. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Y'all aren't going to be thinking about it for very long. I've got movement happening now. Six of Swords to the star. Hello. Okay. Six of Swords to the star. The truth is... Some of you moved recently. Some of you will be moving. This person, whoever they are, Libra, wants to come towards you. They see you as having a rising star quality about you. Let me know if you're dealing with an Aquarius or have an Aquarius placement. If so, all the more significance to you. This is your person. They know they need to approach you. They need to have communication with you. They're also gathering more knowledge about you so that they can elevate. They, You both are. In my sense, this is the mutual. You know what I mean? The mutual is you both want to move towards each other. You both see the star, the future. You see the future and you're tethered to it. Like this star is really beautiful in this deck because it's not this, this wish fulfillment out in the sky that we can never obtain. The star is actually obtainable here. It's within reach. She's literally tethered to it. So you are tethered. This person is your destiny, Libra. This person is actually a part of your destiny. Oh yeah, for sure. As it were, okay? You're meant to move toward each other. Whether or not you solidify it in this lifetime, I don't know. You're, me you're meant to. You're meant to. Judgments here. The divine, okay? <laughs> you are meant to cross each other's paths. You are meant to learn something from each other, if nothing else. Very true. Okay. Whether that's a new person or an ex, you are all meant to learn something from even our exes. And I can even thank my exes for that. You know what I mean? I thank you for teaching me the lessons that I needed to learn about myself. That's true. For anyone who needed to hear that. Okay. But... You both have a rising star quality. You both are getting the perspective. You're on, you've been on pause with each other, Libra. It's been a waiting game between the two of you. But the tower is happening now. Your perception of them is now. <laughs> it's like someone wants this now. Right now. Now is what I hear someone saying. I don't want to wait anymore. I want my person now. The tower. 
strike it down, okay? <laughs> strike down whatever is not serving me, okay? My foundation that's not serving me. If it means, do I have to compromise then? What am I willing to sacrifice to have with this person? What do I have to give up to have to be with this person? That's what someone is asking. First of all, you shouldn't. <laughs> okay. A tower does not have to be physical construct. It could be a tower of the mind, of of a thought pattern we held on to for years and years and years that maybe was not serving us. Okay. This is like a tower of enlightenment here. You're learning something, both of you are, about each other. What? What is the tower here? Because it's leading to you. It's leading to a truth and a pathway and a legacy. Oh, yeah. Why is the tower here? I see. I see. You don't know. And Four of Cups. You don't want to be rejected by this person. You're worried about being rejected by this person. We're dropping that. Yeah, I say I was about to say fuck it. <laughs> Screw that. Can we drop that, guys? I don't want to even bend down to pick it up. It's not worth it. Why is the tower really here? You can't have all this beautiful come in and then all of a sudden the four of cups, really? That's bullshit. So who? someone is trying... That was a projection on your reading just now. Someone wants you to doubt your mental perception. No. Sorry, guys. Whoever's cross-watching this video that's just angry at Libra, I don't give a damn. Get over it. You're not going to block Libra's progression. Okay? They're meant to move on. They're meant to move on. If you want Libra to come back to you, then work on yourself. You know what I mean? Work on yourself. Eight of coin to... The seven of coin. You didn't invest with Libra before. You got impatient and you did not invest. Seven of coin reversed on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Someone needs to work on themselves. If you're working on yourselves, go check out the general love reading. I'm sure you'll have a lot of inspiration from that. Okay. Tower, what you doing here? What are you really doing here is the question. Are we done with that energy, Libra? I sure am. Yeah. That's better. That's much better. Much better. The Knight of Cups. Oh, yeah. Libra, they're coming. I tell you. I told you. Told you. No. No. They are coming. Someone is coming to balance up a situation with you. They are coming in to romanticize you, Libra, and they have their heavily romantic qualities about you. They see you. Expect a message from this person, Libra. Some communication from this person. I think it was, yeah, online, probably. Facebook, Instagram, DMs, all that jazz. Yeah. Someone's going to open a line of communication with you here very soon. Four could have already done so. All right. 16. Tower is number 16. That could be something May 16th, June 16th. I don't know. There's a line of communication that's getting ready to come through here for you. Something. Something. Where are you going, Knight? Where are you going? Mr. Knight of Cups. Interesting. The Fool. The Fool. Kind of in reverse. Hesitant about taking the leap, can you? That's your doubt creeping in, Libra. You don't want to be naive. <laughs> That's the truth. Mm -hmm. Why do I feel like there's this tug, 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 tug of war going on in your energy on this particular reading right now? There's a tug of war happening. Someone doesn't want you to get away. Someone doesn't want you to get away. That's very specific. I never feel like this, by the way, on your reading. This, on any reading. So this is my first time, like, please know that. I've never said this before. I feel like there's a tug of war, pull, push and pull action happening right now on the Libra energy. 
Okay. Many of you Libras are literally like about to bolt through the gate towards your own success and future in all aspects of your life. Okay. New relationships, new, 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 everything new. Okay. Go for it, honey. Bolt <laughs> while you can go. Okay. But then there's some of you who are still lingering back and don't get me wrong guys if you guys want to be with your exes that's fine i ain't got no judge judgment here that ain't for me okay that is not my energy <laughs> I, I don't do that all right you have that with your person you know who that is if you want it to work all the more power to you okay but there is that i don't want libra to get ahead of themselves i also don't want libra to get away But I don't know if I can risk it with Libra either. Or you don't know if you can risk it, Libra. What are you not willing to risk? Yourself. Justice. They see you for you. So if, they, if they're not ready to take a leap with you, that's good to know, I would say. Good to know. Now. Or they can't take the leap with you yet. They want to. They want to. You could have met this person, engaged with them. Aries energy, Aquarian energy. We just, in April? Some of you met with them recently, but it's like it didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it's like it just started. But it didn't elevate. It didn't elevate or go beyond a certain point with them. Sure. I can see that. It did not. The tower moment was there. The attraction was there. The shock value even was there. And it was beautiful for whatever that was. You both saw the Knight of Cups in each other's eyes, if you know what I'm saying, okay? But we did not elevate or go beyond a certain point in our connection. Whatever that was, okay? Whatever. However minuscule. We had our, our, our barriers up to that. We were watching each other. See, the Nine of Wands is very particular in this deck, too. It's like we saw each other. We were looking at each other across the way, but our barriers were up, and we did not allow each other to pass beyond those barriers to, to, a, to a certain degree. Okay? Neither of you did. You did not allow each other to pass beyond your wands. We just kind of made eye contact across the room, as it were, you know. I see you seeing me seeing you, that kind of thing. <laughs> right? Justice. <laughs> Justice. What you doing here? They see you. They saw you. They saw you for you. They just, they couldn't. Yeah. They, they didn't. You didn't. Okay. That makes sense. Justice. What you doing here? Jumper, please for Libra. Thank you. Yeah, but you will. Eight of Wands. Oh, that pathway is going to get balanced out real quick. I'm trying to tell you, that communication wants to happen. That action wants to happen soon. By the way, like I missed an opportunity back here. That's what that Four of Cups was about. That's on the floor down there. That missed opportunity. It was a missed opportunity. I see. I see. It was a missed opportunity, Libra. They want to come back around and correct the situation. They're gonna. They're going to. They are going to. Okay. You may have met that per, this person somewhere at an event. Something. 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 What's backing the Eight of Wands? That's balance. Justice is bringing it in. You're bringing it in, Libra, which I was also tell you. Yeah, sure are. King of Swords. Do you perceive them this way? Let me know. They, this person has a heavy air placement, but there's a truth and a pathway about them, too. And look, there's the crow sitting over his head. Hey. Okay. And the owl. This is a very wise person. They are calculated. Oh, Libra. This person. Ooh, Libra. Hello. <laughs> they are calculated about how to balance up with you. Oh, they know. 
they see you. They they know they had a missed opportunity with you. And I think that's actually, quite frankly, driving someone crazy back here. They want to balance up the situation quick with you, Libra. They saw you. They had that shock value was there for them to try to tell you that's that's mutual between the two of you. But there's a respect the two of you have as well. I did not want to take it too far beyond a certain point because... If you have rising star quality about you, they respect you, Libra, to a very high degree. They're learning more about you. They didn't want to push it too far, and neither did you, frankly. There's a boundary. Again, the Nine of Wands, there was a boundary the two of you did not want to cross with each other at that time. Not from lack of attraction, but from mutual respect. Mutual respect, and that's lovely. But trust me, they're thinking about it. Oh, yeah. They're thinking about it. So are you. That's beautiful. Mutual respect. I felt that. I felt that. Because they see a legacy here. You both do. The potential outcome here is a legacy together. Something possibly even work-related. And maybe you know this person from work, Libra. Maybe there was a line there that couldn't be crossed, but it will get balanced out. There will be an equal give and take here, and the two of you owe that to each other, frankly. Yes, you do. Why is the King of Pentacles here, though? Show me, clearly. Thank you. Why is the King of Pentacles here, please? Thank you. Okay. Interesting. Page of Wands reversed. We're watching, not taking action right now. We're watching. Young immaturity, that's that more immature, that imagery, blah, 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 that energy, that dumb shit. Spirit, give me a better clarif clarification. Why is the King of Pentacles here, please? What does that King of Swords know? Thank you. Page of Cups. Ah, I see what's going on here. Do you see what happened here? Do you see what happened here, Libra? You guys got shy all of a sudden. You got shy all of a sudden. Okay. Okay. Page of Cups to the Page of Wands. Oh, boy. Let me know if you're at a distance from this person, Libra. I felt the need to ask at a distance or something. It's like, I see you, I see you seeing me see you, I know you, I'm just not taking any action toward I'm hiding it. I'm hiding it. When pigs flies, I'll be the first to reveal all this to you. I'm calculated, but there's love here. I'm thinking about it. You're thinking about it heavily. There's also, I'm feeling children. The legacy. The legacy involves children that are yet to be. Wow. Wow, that's very specific for someone. The Empress here. That's very specific for someone. You're meant to have a child with this person, Libra. Possibly two. Possibly two children. Possibly a girl and a boy. A girl came out first. You're going to have a girl. This Anyway, that's very specific. A girl and a boy. The balance. Oh, that's interesting. That's so specific, Libra. Wow. <laughs> that's the legacy. It is yet to be. Interesting. Wow. Advice, please, for Libra. Show me clearly. Spirit. Wow. But... On the other flip side of that, you two are low level expressing, expressing with each other as pages. It's like that's the only way you can even connect with each other's energy, but even that is kind of stunted and on pause. And that's why I question, maybe you're at a distance from this person. Maybe. Advice, please, for Libra. Clear jumper, please, for Libra. All right, saw the Six of Wands try to pop out there. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't get messy on me. 
Don't you get messy on me. All right, yeah, don't you get sassy. See all this, this is, this is, this is energy. Time has separated the two of you. I know, I know, I know, trust me. Oh my God. But the time in reverse, the time is now to act, guys. Time, temperance in reverse. The time, time is now. You two are healed. You're ready, is what I feel the need to tell you. And there's energy pulling on you, tugging on you. You see it happening, okay? I know you do. All right? Some of you Libras need to protect your energies right now as well. Okay. Just letting you know. Advice, please, for Libra. Come on. Clear jumper for Libra. I know that's true, because that just came out in your general love reading. Queen of Wands. Get confident. Stay confident. Stay sexy. Power through, power through, power through, Libra. Power through. Let me know if you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or you have a f heavy fire placement, by the way, but that is telling you to have confidence. Stand up for yourself. Have confidence in yourself, Libra. Don't doubt yourself anymore. Okay? You deserve this new pathway, and it's coming for you. Okay? Promise you. Oh, yeah. An equal give and take. Beautiful. Okay. Let's see what's happening over here. In the <laughs> lover's oracle <laughs> romantic department. All right, Libra. How you're feeling about your person is... Sexual union? <laughs> Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul, for there you will find true bliss. Okay? How you're feeling about them. You see them as the one, Libra. They are the one you want. Do you want? Do you want this person? Man or woman? I don't care. Okay. Your union with this person is very sacred. It will be. Mm -hmm. How they're seeing you, Libra? We have deep in your heart you already know the answer. Do what feels right. They are heavily trying to use their intuition to gauge how to interact with you, how to come towards you. There go my dogs. One second, guys. One second, that's the knock at the door. I'll be right back. Where were we, Libra? So sorry about that. Oh, God. Deliveries. All right. Your card is the sacred union, the sexual union, by the way. You're thinking about it, by the way, heavily. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Meant to tell you. <laughs> Yes, they are using their intuition. <sighs> they don't want to cross a line with you, Libra. They're trying to do what feels right. They know their intuition is already talking to them. Reverse as you see fit here. Yours is talk. It's both of you. You know what I mean? Like your intuition is already talking to one another about this. And if this is yet to be for some of you, you have no idea who this person is. I don't know how you don't. I mean, clearly they haven't crossed your path yet, but I mean, I don't know how you wouldn't know because this is your twin flame, Libra. Your passion ignites that tower moment right here. Okay. Your passion ignites. This is your real twin flame. You, some of you may have been thinking you were dealing with your twin flame. Some exes and stuff like that. Oh, no. No, no, no. This is your twin flame. Your star-crossed lovers. Okay. The one you ebb and flow with until finally one of you, the two of you, the both of you become one again. It is a tale of separation between the twin flames. The twin flame journey is quite, quite complicated. It can be. 
because it requires separation. You guys, your energies come together, then they split, then they get pulled back together, and then they split, and then they get pulled back together until finally they become one and stay together. But that is that is the twin flame journey, as it were. Our galaxies do it. People do it too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. We have Sacred Fool. Sacred Fool, the Rebels card. And we have Beyond the Mind, the Heart Beats. Beyond the Mind, the Heart Beats, Libra. So look at this saying galaxies a minute ago, how our galaxies, how energy, like like molecules, like cells, they split and converge. They start as one, then they split, and they come back together, and they split again, and they come back together, and then finally they become one again. Our galaxies do the same thing, Libra. It's really beautiful. Beyond the mind, the heart beats with the sacred fool. Let us read, Libra. Let us read. Sacred Fool. Sacred Fool. Alright, the Fool is a great rebel, able to thwart convention and tell the truth without restraint. If that hasn't been evident in this reading, I don't know what has, okay? <sighs> Your heart is a wonderful, powerful, sacred Fool. It cares not for the right way to do things. It cares not for what the mind says is real and not real. It lives according to an inner wisdom that cannot be dictated to or controlled by anything. It loves, it lives, and it is what it is. You are who you are. Come what may, take what may, you acknowledge yourself for you. This person also acknowledges you for you, Libra. You acknowledge each other for who you are. That will be your union. There's something sacred in that. You see each other for who you are. That's beautiful. Truly. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hello. It's really beautiful energy for you, Libra. Beyond the mind, the heart beats. In the chaos of the modern life, excuse me, in the chaos of the modern life, in the constant fluctuations of our minds, it can be difficult to remember that a sublime sanctuary lies within. Yet, it is always there. Beneath the ceaseless activity, there is an endless, vast spaciousness that restores and connects us to something greater, something that exists outside of time. Some might call it eternity. Wow. Wow. It's an eternal love you're meant to have with this person, Libra. Eternal. You are, this is your twin flame. Libras, I hope we like the singles reading. You let me know. Do let me know, please. <laughs> I hope something in here served you. Please let me know down in the comments. Leave a like on the video. The likes not only help to support your girl, support the channel, all that jazz. It also just lets me know that you resonated with the video, Libra. So that's important to me. Otherwise, how do I know what content to continue serving you? Mm -hmm. You know? Libra, thank you. Thank you for your beautiful energy. Libra gang, Libra gang, gang. Love you. Sending you so much love. Sending you eternal love. Love you, Libra. Be well.